What's poppin' homies, this is your boyfriend Nitty back in the building. Yo, I'm inside the room, about to rearrange the office for like the nth time. And um, but I wanna talk about this throwback Nike outlet that you guys are gonna watch here shortly, man. Yo, this, it's gonna get a lot of you guys mad. <laughs> Yo, you guys gonna be tight hurt, man. Just watch the video. Um, I took my talents uh, to Tampa in this video. So you guys just see some dope, dope shoes for a really, really affordable price. Maybe the thumbnail already give it away. But anyways, man, enjoy this video. This is like the third throwback Nike Alley vlog I have done so far. Enjoy, peace. What's poppin' homies? It is your boy, Frank Nitty. Notice how I dropped the ball on the budget. Any old ways, man, y'all probably visit my channel a few times, so I'm sure y'all probably tired of hearing me saying, AKA, whatever, whatever. But anyway, today is Friday, it's a beautiful day, and sun is out, and it's really hot. So I'm gonna get this intro out the way and get on my merry way to Tampa, Florida. We about to go and visit a Nike outlet. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the scenery, this B-roll, and I'll see you at the outlet, all right? Good to go. Yo, was that cringy for y'all as it was for me? Yo, that was freshman Frank, maybe sophomore Frank. That was 2017. Yo, my intro skills back then was horrible. I apologize, man. Sorry I had the subject, you guys, to the whole entire video. But anyways, man, I just realized I shot this video in 4K. 4K. So the quality was phenomenal, man. I was ahead of my time back then. Shooting with the camera I'm shooting with now, right now. Again, um, I kind of dismantled my whole setup so I don't have the talking head camera behind me. Uh, Y'all can see back here, I got the desk I'm about to set up and you know get everything on and popping so I can do more of these type videos. But anyways, man, enjoy. Just giving you guys a heads up. Sorry for like the cringe work, bro. It was serious, bro. Man. Watching your old footage, bro, it hurts the soul. But that's how you get better, man. You have to stomach yourself to the past self so you can enjoy the future self, man. So I'm gotten, I have gotten a lot better. You guys gotta admit. For those who've been following me since then, bro, I appreciate you guys if you're still rocking the boy. Cause I don't know how you guys got through that videos or those videos, man. I'm like, damn. But anyways, man, enough talking. Enjoy the video. Peace. Yo, I am currently at the Tampa Premium Outlet. Get the CB94s, but I seen those in that list before. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, the up tempos, we got those, we got those in 97, and we got the ones with the air on the side, and the Supreme ones they did, but just with the black yeah. and white. These are dope. 179. I'm actually gonna try these uh, KDs on. Nike Air Zoom KD Elite Limited. Let's try these joints on. one on instead but this one's 109 dollars KDs these LeBron garbage Kobe's some more basketball shoes what are these Jordan slippers some Resh Brooks 0.2s no one's buying these joints some Jordan retro highs we've already seen these these are garbage my personal opinion these are going for what 99 dollars wait I can't even tell it says 129, but one of them says 99. Joints for 109. But I saw the wings at the counter for 129, I believe, or 114. We'll double check. They do have the wings here, Jordan 2. Jordan 20 lasers for 169. These joints been here for a good minute, yo. Still haven't loaned the price though. Got some Jordan 17s. I like this colorway of all colorways, but the material is horrible, man. Then you got the All Star 6s, y'all. All Star Sixes for 180. The Jordan 31 for 130 beans, y'all. Quick recap: These are all the Jordans they have here at this store. They have a slew of Jordans, man. Good selection, good selection, good selection. And they also have some by the counters, and I will show you guys that in a minute. 
So after wrapping with the cat, these are outlets exclusives. There's a reason why you haven't seen these online. This, this is the 420 Dunk Rollers. Yeah. There's no discounts on this one, right? No, not on that one. $400. It needs to be discounted. This is <laughs> The threes for 180 plus 30% um, off. You also got the fours, Royals for 150, All Stars. Then you also got the 13s. I do like these wings, but they don't got my size. I do like those, don't got my size, and I do already have those too. For the cast that wear size 15 and size 14, who hit me up in the comments, man? This is the hash wall. Not much going on here. Hope you say anything that you do like. Pan joints for 100 beans. What size it is? 12 and a half. With additional 30% off. The bronze. Some Jordan Horizon Lows. Jordan Jumpman Team 2s. The bronze 13. I kind of like these. The Up Temples 97. Green joints. $129. Pretty dope. I still got my shoe. The Air Force 1 Fry Knit. For 80 beans. Got the multi colorway right here. For 80 beans as well. Your shoe is so light. Crazy, man. 80 beans. These Air Force one joints here with maroon gum bottom. What is the mids? Yeah, these are the mids LV8. Jordan 3s. These are kids though. 80 beans. Jordan 1s. Jordan 1s. More Jordan 1s. Flip flops. But guess what? They got the Doom for 109. Small size. I see 6 wide, 4 wide, 4 and a half, 5s. Girls with small feet. Guys with small feet, kids, etc. can get that. Get in where you fit in. Some Air Maxes for kids. Check and see what's on the hash wall. Still got these pennies. Barclays with size four and a half wide, 70 beans. Also Kyrie's, $75. Women, what's this, uh, Rochi's? Rochi fly nets. I can't even tell Rochi's no more, man. They kind of did everything they could with the Rochi's, man. It's still not reviving them. These are kind of clever. Pick of the week, and pick of the week is these joints 135 multiple size run so i just left nike nike had a whole bunch of heat y'all had so much heat yo and we're back yo did this video make you sick you know what i'm saying you about to throw up yo it is crazy what was in the building and these shoes is like at the counter so as soon as you walked in yo hands on it's not like you have to ask a cashier or ask a nike employee yo can you grab this shoe or do you have this shoe it's on full display they're letting you know what's in the building and they had like eight pairs of jordans just sitting there with additional discount was it additional discount i can't remember but it was discounted in the, re in the regular retail yo let's comb through real quick you had the 420 into galactic uh dunk lows Yo, that shoe came out what? Uh, 2017, so I make it what? Going on four years this month. It was in for retail. Now that shoe clearly hits over $400 in my size. I forget what size that was, but moving on. We got the pure platinum Jordan 5s, the all leather joint. Yo, shoe is butter, nice and crispy. Now I saw these throughout the aisle many years later. I did not, I did not cop, obviously. Uh, 400 was retail, and these shoes came out four years this year. I think uh, April 22nd, 2017. Now they're not going crazy over retail right now. It's like $300, so technically they're still under uh, retail. You know, going top to bottom. Next up, the Air Jordan 12s Wolf Gray low joints those shoes came out 2017 as well but they came out in march and they're hitting well over retail right now they're going for 345 dollars they also had another jordan 12 um on the shelf it was on the back it was like shoe of the week oh let's get into the meat and potatoes now i admit i did pass on the shoe day one and that's the true blue threes that shoe came out november 25th 2016. now that shoe's hitting for well over 400 dollars. i passed up then i passed that shoe up multiple times had an opportunity to get it for retail below retail and i still didn't want it i like the quality of the leather to be fair another 2017 release with those royalties i call them the royals my bad it was actually the royalties quick story i bought two pairs of those i bought one for me and one for the homie got both pairs at finish line homie was living in mexico dose if y'all see my podcast i shipped them to mexico for him he loved those shoes i hated mine i returned in mine i returned it i returned mine didn't care for them i actually still don't care for them but those shoes are still going for numbers man they hit for well over 400 and here they are sitting on shelves the nike outlet for 149 dollars crazy 
Yo guys, my arm is getting tired, man. So next up, the Air Jordan 6 All-Star joints, the Chameleons. Uh, I own that shoe, got mine from the clearance store, but I paid less than what it was offering here. Actually, I bought it twice. Bought for Nike, it was on sale for $129, then I bought it at the clearance store for under $100. This Nike Alley won $179, and we know that shoe now is going for numbers. Nobody won that shoe back then, no one won that shoe last year, but now if you wanna buy that shoe, it's well over $300. Now it was an All-Star release, and I think that was All-Star 2017. Next up are the Black Cats. Man, I had to throw my, my pit here. Had my day one, did pay retail, and I saw these at multiple clearance stores in Orlando, and obviously they had it here in the building for $149, no additional discounts, but they have multiple sizes. And here they are. Now this shoe is going for over $400. Can y'all believe that? No one wanted that shoe when it came out. No one wanted that shoe when it was in a clearance, but they're willing to pay $400 plus for this shoe. Rock mine's a handful of times. Matter of fact, I think I rocked mine recently too, man. If I can find some B-roll, I'll throw it up. Next pair of shoes are the Air Jordan 1 Yang and Yangs. Do I even need to say more? Do I need to address these pairs of shoes? Should I look up how much these shoes are going for? I think you guys already know, man. So we're gonna move right along to those Air Jordan 23 Chicago's. Now I wanted this shoe, man. I wanted this shoe, and this was a 2015 release. So two years later, they're in a Nike outlet. The shoe had phenomenal leather. I like the quality of the shoe. I like the hits, it's unique, it's different. A good fun fact about this shoe, it's hitting well below retail. So you can get it right now off of StockX for below $200. Now this shoe retail for like 225 when it originally came out. But we'll see, man, we'll see. We'll see how much I really missed this shoe. Um, Cause I couldn't get it that day. They didn't have my size. They only had size 11 was the, was the biggest size they had. So it is what it is. And coming in last is the Air Jordan 2 Wing It. I remember this shoe came out. A lot of YouTubers had it at the time when I started YouTube. I can't remember what sub count I was at, but a lot of people had this shoe, man. The Wing It 2s. Um, I actually wanted this shoe, but didn't get day one. They did sold out, I believe. Can't remember the whole release, how that went. If it sold out, re-release, or a few pairs went to the outlet. But I just know they didn't have my size that day, and these shoes were hitting for $119, man. $119 because I got you this shoe. Now this shoe's hitting damn near $400 in my size. It is what it is. Yo, fun fact about this video, man. Fun fact. Um, I thought I was doing research about the shoe with the years it comes out, etc. I noticed a lot of these shoes came out in 2017. This video was shot May of 2017. My son's making noise. He's about to jump in the shower probably. My back, rather. And um, that means... When these shoes came out in February, especially those dunks that came out um, that same year, April, uh, April 20, a little two months later, they were in the outlets, discounted. Majority of these shoes only lasted one month on the shelves at the foot traffic sites, maybe one and a half month at Nike.com or Nike websites. They didn't last longer than, than that because this video was shot in May and majority of the shoes were already in the building at the outlets, man. So that was crazy, man. Fun times, right? Fun times. Anyways, man, I love making these videos, man. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys enjoy this little small recap. Hopefully the video's not too long. I just wanna give you guys a tidbit of what's in the building and come back and give you my recap, what the shoes are going for now and the opportunities we had back then. Had we taken advantage of some of these opportunities, but you know, what we know now, only if we knew back then. But anyways, man, I appreciate you guys watching. If you're new to this channel, like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving your comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. I'm sorry for being so fidgety in this damn chair, man. I need my whole setup. I can't be holding this phone and, and be still. I can't, this is too hard. All right, man, good to go. Peace.